Got a new Hindi language action thriller for you called Kill. This one promises to be a non-stop, very violent, over-the-top beat-em-up, and I'm here for it. Kill's making a lot of bold claims, it's got ambition. Does it nail it though, or is this movie one that you should avoid? I'm gonna let you know in a spoiler-free review right now. Before I jump on this train for a good old fashioned beat down, why don't you beat down on that subscribe button real quick? If you enjoy the commentary because I post movie reviews, live streams, rants, reactions every single week on the channel, all movies all the time, would love to have you stick around. What we have here folks is an Indian movie that felt more like an American movie than ever before. Uh, what I mean by that is there's not a lot of pageantry like you get in the past. There aren't three or four music videos thrown into the mix. There was no dance numbers going on. Are there still unnecessary hero shots where he mugs for the camera and gives really intense eyes while the camera does a slow zoom in? Of course, yes, that, that's very much on the table. But for the most part, this is pretty standard stuff. Done in a very violent way, I'll, I'll give it that. We have a very paper thin plot here. There is a train headed for New Delhi. On it are two commandos, Amrit being the main one. He falls in love with a woman who he's known for a while, and he even has the opportunity to propose to her in the bathroom, in secret. Not the most romantic way to propose, but it's the only option he had at the time. And unfortunately, that would end up being the last real intimate time they would have together, because not long after, we find out this train has been taken over by bandits. Fanny and his group of thugs have taken over the train for the next 30 minutes in order to steal all the prized possessions these people have on board, then they're gonna bounce. Unbeknownst to them, there's a very wealthy man aboard this train, and that leads them to think, you know what, maybe we do a kidnapping scenario, maybe we take this guy, hold him for ransom, get an easy payday. The problem they're facing is they have to go through Amrit and his buddy, and this guy does not mess around. And that's it. That is the entire plot. A bunch of bad guys get on a train, and Amrit's gonna kick the living shit out of them for the next almost two hours. Because this movie doesn't have a lot to say, and because it all takes place on a train outside of the first maybe seven or eight minutes, there's just not much here. If this movie was an hour and a half, which it absolutely could have been, there was plenty to shave out of this, you would have had a really fun time. As it stands, Kill is a watchable action film that's got a lot of dumb plot holes in it, and it kind of felt like a throwback to 90s action, like with Jean-Claude Van Damme or even Jackie Chan meaning anything that's not combat related is pretty bad and we need to get past it. <laughs> Thankfully, there is a whole lot of action in this movie, a ton of it, but because of the rules it's kind of arbitrarily given itself, the first hour feels like this long tease of the movie that the trailers promised, which was a bloody, violent, super badass film. You have to take your time getting to it and it's because these characters don't want to kill the bad guys on the train. Even though these guys are beating the living shit out of people, they made it very clear they're not going to stop. It just kind of felt arbitrary and pointless. But let's talk about the pros before I get hung up on some of the things I didn't enjoy. Number one, this movie is freaking action packed. And these actors aren't messing around. They're throwing punches left and right. <laughs> They're kicking the shit out of guys. <laughs> the choreography is really well done. They are shooting inside of tiny compartments on this train. So getting these camera angles, lining everything up well, that's tough to do. It's tough to frame this stuff. And the director should absolutely be commended for that. This movie also prided itself in being very violent and gory. And that is definitely the case later on in the movie when they decide, okay, we're going all in, knives out, we're killing people now that's when things really ratchet up. Everything becomes a weapon in this movie and it's a hell of a time. From a visual standpoint, it's a little bit messier. Some of the stuff looks really flat, especially early on. I felt there was no contrast. The color grading in this just was not punchy at all. It had an almost TV vibe to it, like I was watching a Lifetime movie for a while, especially with the acting not being so great either early on mainly due to the bad writing. Once they're on the train and able to let loose more, things get noticeably prettier looking, especially again in that second half of the film. I enjoyed the lead character, not a lot to him, just a badass fighting guys. 
Fanny was easily the, the highlight of the movie. Loved his dialogue. He actually had some good witty stuff going on. Very fun. But back on the negative side of the writing, we have a lot of wash, rinse, repeat going on here. And it's repeated and repeated again to the point where I just thought, just edit some of this down. Every time our hero kills one of the bad guys, which there's like 60 of them on this damn train, I think at one point he said there was 34 or 37, that number felt a little disingenuous, especially as more people somehow kept getting on the train. But anyway, every time he killed one of these dudes, there'd be this like three or four minute grieving process. There'd be this mourning for the fallen bad guy, and they'd be like, he killed my brother, or he killed my father, why would he do this? And they kept having this inner crisis about it, like, why do you think, bitch? You keep trying to kill him, and you're hurting the other passengers on this train. It's not that deep. But yet we kept doing this over and over again, and it just broke the flow of the movie. There are massive plot holes in this too. Again, I know it's kind of a dumb action film, so I don't want to think too hard about it, but the fact that there was no way or really even a single attempt to contact the conductor of this train is pretty ridiculous. At one point, the fucking thing stops. No one thinks to get off. It never once enters the minds of the passengers to try to get off the train. At one point, a villain gets off, goes into the bramble. He just comes back on somehow. People just warp back on this train and off it again like it's nothing. What is going on with this movie? Final note, I did like the ending. I thought they did a good job wrapping it up and I like where our hero ended. So overall, obviously an imperfect film for a lot of reasons, but if you are just going in for some cool action, you're definitely gonna get that. There is a lot of it. I just think it goes too long. I'm not entirely invested in it because I'm getting frustrated by these poor choices, but I also didn't hate it by any means. It's just a, it's, it's like a fine watch at the end of the day. A fine watch with some pretty cool fatalities thrown in. All right, well, those are my thoughts on Kill. Not the most creative title, but I guess it's appropriate for what we see in the movie. <laughs> There's definitely some killing. Let me know if you saw this or if you plan to see it. Hit me up in the comments below. Tell me what you thought. Please subscribe if you haven't. I post tons of movie reviews, rants, roasts, live streams. I obviously don't just cover American movies, although that is the primary. I do also review Indian movies. I've reviewed some Korean flicks. Yeah, any movie that uh, you know tickles my fancy or comes to my attention, I'm going to give it a shot. And I'll let you know what I thought. That was didn't, didn't mean to rhyme that. All right, hopefully I see you next time. Take care.